Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing the setup of my current Traveler's Notebook, which is a field note size. So if you haven't seen the unboxing for this Traveler's Notebook, I will link that down below. Maybe I'll even put a little card in right here. So this is a Chic Sparrow Creme Brulee in Black Beauty. I've got to say, it's holding up really nice. So this setup is currently my planner and my wallet. So it's definitely getting a lot of use. It's getting thrown in and out of my bag. So there's not any major markings on it or anything like that. As you can see, the leather still looks really nice. I even rolled this a few times to bring out some more texture in the leather because that's just how I like my notebooks to look. The first thing I wanted to mention is that if you look at this, my notebook stays closed when it's sitting down and the band's not on it which I love. That means it's the leather is forming around the, no the notebooks nicely. I do have quite a bit in here, so that's really nice that it does wrap around it because I think the more inserts you have in your notebook, the less likely that is to happen, but this leather is just so great that it has no problem. Also, when I open it up, it lays completely flat. Now, obviously, my notebooks want to like flip over, but if I'm in the middle, it lays perfectly fine, so I don't even mind that. So this is a deluxe model, which means it just has pockets sewn in, which I really like because it's out of storage. And since I'm using this as my wallet as well as my planner, it just works out better that way. In the front here, I just have like my ID and my credit card and um, my most used rewards card, which is funny enough, my Carmex reward card. I use it the most. And I have uh, storage elsewhere for cards that I don't use as often. So this right here is a little dashboard that I made. This is just some American Craft paper. I believe this is from the Hot Cocoa pad that's out for Christmas right now. I got it at AC Moore on sale, and it's so pretty. And then this is a sticko sticker. I'm loving this. I wish I would have outlined it in white or something to make it stand out more, but it's so beautiful. And this is just a little dash that I made. Not even that well, obviously. Um, it's kind of held together with packing tape, which is why there's bubbles, but hey, it's just for Christmas. It's just for, like... A little over a month so I don't really mind so this sandwich is my first insert which is on my first string and that is a yellow paper house insert so this is what the inside of that dash looks like right now it's purely cosmetic but it is a nice place to stick down sticky notes if I need to so this first insert like I said is from yellow paper house and it is their month on two pages insert so it's really thin because essentially it's just six pieces of paper folded in half and stapled together so it's really lightweight and small and I like that it doesn't take up a lot of room and for a while this was the only way I was planning in my planner but I found that I like to do a little bit more detailed planning so I'll get to that later but um, this is just how I keep track of where I need to be on any given day basically so I did decorate the cover I just put this project life card on some washi tape a sticker this is my little bunny paper clip that I think ends up in every planner that I've ever had has had this little bunny paper clip in it at some point. So the first and the last page of the yellow paper house inserts I think are always blank which I love because I do not like writing on the first page. You know obviously I can write on a sticky note and stick that in there that's fine but I don't like actually like writing on the first page unless it's like an index or something like that. So up here I just have one of these Target dollar spot sticky notes. These are actually both from the dollar spot. Up here, I just keep movies that are out this month that I would like to see. I've already seen one of them, and that way I can just change that out each month really easily. And down here is my key for my colors in my, my calendar. So this is just the Recollections, um, I think it's the pastel washi that you can get. I think it's in a pack of eight. It's like seven bucks, something like that. Use a 40% off coupon and they're just really thin washies and they work really well for color coding. I'll show you that on the next page. So this is my current month and it's pretty much set up for the entire month because I'm filming this on the 25th. So as you can see, I just put a strip of washi on each day that denotes where I need to be. Mostly it's work but I also track paydays and like events and things like that. Also birthdays and trips and all those other things. I just didn't have any of those this month. So this is what a blank insert looks like. Obviously I've already written this in. I got the undated version just because I wanted to be able to start right away. And if I got a dated version, I would either only be using like the last two months in it or I would be um, waiting until 2016 and I didn't want to do that. So I have dated the entire calendar all the way to next November because it is a gold mine to use this for an entire year. This is what it looks like. The only thing I wish it didn't have was this to-do side because if you can see 
they're just so small. I, I don't think I would ever have anything to write there in the field note size or obviously the passport size is even smaller. So I wish I didn't have that and maybe like make the calendar a little bit wider on this size. But other than that, I have no complaints really. So back to this month, this little bookmark I got at Barnes and Nobles, I think last year or maybe earlier in this year, they might still have it. It came with an owl and a wolf one as well but this one's my favorite because it looks like a honey badger I mean it is a badger and these stickers you will see a ton in my planner because these are the new sticko stickers I think they're called like cute animals it comes in the little book that you get at Walmart and they're just the cutest stickers ever so I have decorated next month for Christmas and this is the ugly sweater stickers from sticko I just think they're adorable and then I haven't really decorated January, but I have done some planning in it. So this is the back of my dashboard and I just put a picture in here and it looks like that. And that takes you to my next string, which has two more inserts on it. This is obviously my brain dump and the cover itself, or I should say the insert itself is actually a field notes and it is in the cherry wood edition. And what I love about them is that each cover is unique because they are made from actual wood. So the wood grain changes and looks different on each notebook that you get. As far as sticking things to the cover though, I will say that it is a little hard. For these stickers, I ended up having to use some um, adhesive roller on them. And then for this little Hello Darling that you see right here, I actually ran it through my Xyron sticker maker and it sticks perfectly. But sometimes it is hard to get things to stick to this wood cover. This is a 48 page memo book and it is on grid paper and I love the grid if you can see that right here it is a cream color grid on white paper and it is a nice size I believe this is probably a 5x5 five five grid um, seems like it to me at least I just I love it I'm a grid snob I guess I really don't like when grids are blue or the lines look like they're bleeding I'm just <laughs> like them to look very crisp and nice and light um, over here is a bunch of information that you could fill out. I don't really like doing that. I, I think it's kind of redundant. So what I just do is put a sticker on, make it cute. This first page is my index. So different people use their brain dumps in different ways. Some people like to just sit down at the end of the day and write down whatever is in their mind. I kind of just do that throughout the day, but I also use it as making lists and for putting down notes on different things, just basically anything that I might want to go back and reference later on goes into this notebook. I don't index everything in here just because this is such a small notebook. It's probably going to get filled up really quickly. Like I said, I've only been in here for two weeks and I'm pretty far into it. So on this page, I just have like tattoos that I want to get. I always have this because I have so many that I want to get. I have to keep them organized. Um, then I have like my to be read list, things that I want to do on YouTube. I have what I want for Christmas, which I need to go over this. I've already gotten myself two of these things. Whoops. Things that I'd like to order, annual events. And then I have my budget over here, but would you look at this stinking adorable Corgi sticker? I just, I love that sticker. So this is a funny story. Um, I watch all of my TV shows on Netflix and Hulu and stuff like that. So I like to know what day things air. So if I'm keeping up with it on Hulu, I can watch it the next day. So I don't watch a ton of shows. I wrote them all down and then I went and searched when, what day they're on. They're all on Tuesday. Apparently I just really like TV shows that come on Tuesday. So my color system was kind of pointless because it's not that hard to remember two different days of the week but if I ever want to add shows I can and these highlighters that I'm using I love them so much they're the pastel ones from friction um, I got them on Amazon so nice and they're erasable which is also very nice um, the ultimate list things I'd like to get at Mac uh, I'm planning a trip to Myrtle Beach so I just wrote out like things I'd like to do and places I'd like to eat this is a wish list that's separate from my Christmas wish list because it's more like stuff I want to get myself, not really stuff that I would ask for for Christmas. But then again, I've already got myself half my Christmas wish list, so I don't really know why I separated them, but I did. Uh, <laughs> I watched the documentary The Real Beauty and the Beast, so I took some notes on that as well. I was watching a documentary on the Roosevelt family, so I started doing that and I left a few pages because I feel like I could probably write quite a few notes with that. Um, I'm a history junkie, so I like to watch stuff like that all the time. And some notes on 
what I want to declutter, some washi tape that I got recently, and then the last page in here right now is just my gift guide, so the gifts for people that I'm getting. I have a two-page spread for that, but I've just started this, but look how cute. So that's the Sticko sticker and Target dollar spot, and that's a page flag, and I ran that through my Xyron machine as well, which I highly recommend for page flags. Back here is the back of it, and I just put on a little ephemera piece I thought was really cute. This is a moleskin. I don't know which one it is specifically. It just has lined paper. I've had this for a really long time. Got it on sale at Target a while ago, and I just decided to make this into my bullet journal, which is the second form of planning that I'm doing. I love bullet journaling because it's so less... Um, structured than journaling and say like a file of facts it's kind of free flow you don't have to do it every day so this is just the Mambi sticker that I put on and this is a little embellishment that I ran through my Xyron as well and this is the first page so as you can see I have a key here and my index which I haven't really wrote that much because I'm just really using this as just strictly day-to-day -day bullet journaling so I'm not like putting different lists and stuff in here all that ends up in my brain dump and this is the first week so I was kind of experimenting and going back and forth on what I liked and my setup and I'm still experimenting with my bullet journaling and you know eventually I'm sure I'll find a perfect way that I like doing it but for now this is what I have over here since this side is blank I just keep a sticky note with my shopping list because like I said this is my wallet so I always have this with me so I always have what I need to buy and then all I'm really doing is writing the day of the week writing the date and then writing out what I'm doing whether it be spending money going places tasks things like that so from here on you'll see these fun stickers and all these are our little Avery stickers that I watercolored and this is kind of like a happy accident I actually got a new date stamper and I had it set to 2016 instead of 2015 so I I dated like seven days in a row of 2016 so I had to go back and fix that I just put down those stickers and it added a fun pop of color so I'm gonna keep doing it I think so you know happy mistakes so that is the end of that insert and that is the end of what is on my second string on my last string I just have a little assortment of things so the first thing is this Midori brand zipper pocket and this is obviously for the passport size so it runs a little small but it works fine for in here in here I just have different little goodies that I like to use in my planner so in between that insert I have this target dollar spot card this is just one of those blank cards that you can get and all I did was laminate this and that created a little booklet that I can keep different sticky notes in. So I just have some Target dollar spot ones and then these are little bees. And to keep these on here, I just put glue dots on the back of them and that tends to hold them down really well. On the back of that, I just have a little place to keep numbers. I actually went to work recently and totally forgot my phone and can't remember a single number to save my life so I like to have that there now just in case that ever happens again it probably won't because that's my luck but I'm still glad to have it instead of you know risking it back here I just keep some different market dots and some paper tape stickers and that's just the full size back of the zipper pocket and then on the very very back it is the card holder and I just keep my rewards cards and things like that stuff that I don't grab for very often and it holds quite a few I think I have like three or four in each pocket so here on the secretarial pocket I like to keep my favorite favorite planner accessory so this is the Jim Halpert a uh, little paper clip. I got this off of Etsy. Of course, I'll link it down below so you can get it too if you want. The Office is one of my favorite shows. So when I saw this on Instagram, I like bought it immediately. Usually whenever I buy something online, I think about it for a really long time, but this I was like, no, I have to have it. I must make it mine. And back here, I just keep my different coupons and some scratch paper just in case I need to write something down. And I have my pen loop over here, and this is my first ever fountain pen, so I'm kind of excited about it. So this is the Pilot Petite, and it just looks like this. I got this off of Amazon, and this writes really nicely for being like less than $10. And the ink actually dries a lot faster than what I was using. I was using a pilot pen and it was making smudge marks and stuff and this just works so much nicer. It is quite small but once you put the cap on it fits really nicely in my hand and I have pretty big hands. So I really like that it slips into the creme brulee 
pen loop really nicely and I don't have to worry about it going anywhere. And it's a nice portable size for something that is my wallet slash on the go planner. Guys, so that is my setup. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please take the time to thumbs up this video. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to check the down bar because I will be linking basically everything I possibly can down there. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.